Today I took apart my Creator 3-in-1 castle to review this abandoned tower mock and then I added extra parts to make this spooky Halloween design. Hi there, I'm Brick to Rick. Welcome to my channel for Lego inspiration, ideas and instructions. Please subscribe for weekly castle, pirate and seasonal videos coming your way. So the Creator 3-in-1 castle set has gone down as one of my favourite sets of all time with its wide variety of pieces and a great excuse to see again the Black Falcon Knights. And here is the castle. It has a very clean aesthetic design but what if you wanted something a little bit more dishevelled? I found this abandoned tower mock on Rebrickable, the link for which is in the description below. Today I dismantled my beloved Creator 3-in-1 castle and made this abandoned tower for you to review it to see if you want to make it yourself. And here is the finished product. It starts off quite slowly, building up on a series of plates held together loosely by some bricks. It becomes a lot stronger when you start to add the base of the tower. Inside you can see a broken staircase. And this leads up to the first level where there are some windows in place, again made to look as if they've been broken. Around the base there is some water and some plants growing out of the side of the tower. On the side of the tower there's some quite neat greebling and some brick effects. It is worth noting that making this model requires the use of the spare pieces included in the set. I really enjoyed putting together the broken design of the Lego at the top of the tower. It's a really good effect Although I didn't position the skeleton as it's meant to be in the instructions, it was a bit graphic for me and this review. Up the side of the tower there are some vines and some plants, making it look really old and overgrown. I also enjoyed putting on the broken flags on the front of the tower. At the top there is a lookout and this has been overgrown as well along with a storage area. So here we have a shot of the minifigures being added to the front of the model. The Black Falcons really suit the design of this abandoned tower. I enjoyed putting it together. It took around three hours. Here is the skeleton being added to the top of the tower and he's quite happy up there but I couldn't find a place for the blacksmith. So in the end I put these minifigures away for Halloween and got out the Bat Lord from Fright Nights. He is a fantastic minifigure from the early 1990s along with his dragon this black dragon comes with fluorescent orange wings and flame. I decided to take apart the brightly coloured elements from the front and the sides of this model, leaving behind this rather plain frontage to the tower. I then put in the minifigure, here he is, but even then I wasn't very happy with the way it looked, so I decided to take away all the plates from the bottom including the water and the light tan plates and replaced them with some dark tan ones instead that were from the original castle. To finish it off I added in some brown elements to simulate some broken trees round the front and the side of this abandoned tower. I think the effect is quite good but then I decided to put in some background to this set. Take a look at my bonsai tree with no foliage and a skeleton leaning up against it. So here is the final model the abandoned tower with Bat Lord and Dragon accessories. Many thanks for watching! Now you're going to see a rather crude strobing effect for Halloween. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more Halloween and castle stuff in the very near future.